Hi everybody, my name is Chip McLean, here at Moto Yoga in Miami Beach. And for those of you guys who don't know about Moto Yoga, we are a conglomerate, a family, a community of hot yoga studios, worldwide, clean, green, environmentally friendly spaces. And we're here today with a little home studio set up just to remind you guys how important this home practice is, right? Just to be here and to be present and to take care of your body no matter what's happening around you. And so I'm working a series of classes here on yogic philosophy and particularly in bringing these philosophies into your practice, right? So taking time for self-study, taking time to practice on your own is so important to actually understand more about yourself and dig deeper into these aspects of yoga. So today we're gonna to focus on, it's called Santosha. Today is a celebration. It's my birthday, so we're gonna have fun and flow and move and breathe in shapes that you're familiar with and really make this a celebration of your breath, of your body, of your life, of your practice, of this time that you had for yourself to take care of your body. Celebrate that, enjoy your practice, and come on up into a good seat and let's set intention. Okay, humble your chin. And then start to breathe ujjayi, so the sound of the ocean, or a little bit of whisper sound in the back of your throat. Prolonged and refined breath in. Prolonged and refined breath out. Humble your chin and just take a moment to come into intention for your practice. If you choose or make a dedication for your practice. So give your practice some meaning, some depth, just beyond the physical today. And take a breath in through your heart. And breath out from your heart to your hands. Inhale, lift your chin. And exhale, very softly, let the prana of your eyes come forward into the room. Have a great practice, everybody. Come on into downward facing dog, please. If you need a little child's pose on the way, that's cool. Tuck your toes, lift your hips up. And a couple deep breaths here. If you want to pedal your feet, wag your hips. That's all good. A little sway side to side, and articulate your shoulders, and stretch your fingers out, spread your toes, and stay with your ujjayi breath. Full inhale. And slow exhale. And then inhale, lift your heels way up off the floor. So stack the heels up on top of the balls of your feet. Get strong in your hands. And if you look forward to checking with your hands, spread your fingers wide. Okay, either index fingers parallel to each other or you could turn your middle fingers in parallel to each other. Either one is okay. It's just going to depend on your anatomy. For me, it's index fingers perpendicular parallel to one another. Okay, keep your heels up and then push the floor away. Work to draw your navel in and lengthen your back. And breathe here in Ujjayi a couple times. Keep your heels way up. Oh, crack and a pop. It's okay. Good too. One more deep breath in. And exhale your heels down. Walk your hands back to your feet. And just find a forward fold here at the back of your mat. Grab on top of those. Hang nice and heavy. Relax your head, sway side to side. And you can even make that sway just a little more vigorous if it feels okay on your back. All right, so as always, self-regulate in your practice. Okay, nothing painful or pinchy. Honor your body. Rest, rest if you need water. If you need, keep your bottle handy. Okay. Fingertips down. Inhale, lift your chest up halfway. And exhale, fold. Again, breathe in and breathe out. Once more, you can keep your knees bent pretty generously. Just find a long back. Inhale, halfway up. And exhale, fold. 
and look forward, inhale. Keep your heels down on your mat and exhale, walk your hands. The downward facing dog. So the heels stay flat on the floor. And try to take arch out of your back. So that might mean you have a short dog, that's okay. And root down through the heels, spread your fingers out. And then look forward and gently start to slide your hands forward. Right. And keeping that shape, working with your alignment, all the way down to the subtleties, right? So pay attention to the details in your hands and your feet. Spread your toes out, one more breath here. And exhale your knees down, come into child's pose just for a breath. Utita Balasana, so arms stay straight, forehead down. And take one deep breath in. Long, slow exhale through your nose. And inhale, come up to a tabletop shape. And tuck your toes, exhale, lift your hips up, down and facing dog. I'm going to stretch your legs a little more deeply again. A little bend to the knees to straighten your low back first and then work to root your heels down a little more deeply. One full breath. And let's work a modified vinyasa. Inhale, come forward, plank pose. Oh, you got your blocks. <laughs> and knees down. Exhale, come forward and lower. Toes back. Inhale, lift your chest up. Exhale, push back. And down and facing dog. A couple deep breaths. Ujjayi. Keep the breath prolonged and refined. Keep that sense of contentment in your heart. Okay? Nobody can see you right now. Put a big goofy grin on your face. It's okay. Then lift your heels up, your eyes up, bend your knees. And just give a couple steps up to the top of your mat. Lift halfway in there. Exhale, fold. If you got blocks while you're here, you can go ahead and set them up. And just right near the top of your mat. Have a hand. They won't necessarily use the blocks for your practice today. But stay here in Ardha Uttanasana. Okay, so keep your chest up. And we're just going to focus on these shapes as we come into them the first time, right? So often skip to your Ardha Uttanasana. Lengthen your spine. And keep your fingertips on the floor. So feel that length in the back and bend your knees a bit. Spread your toes out. And then keep the spine straight, maybe straighten your legs a little more. You're going to feel that stretch pretty intensely into your hamstrings. Take one breath in. And exhale, fold down into Uttanasana. And hold here. So palms flat on the floor. Okay, bend your knees again. Hug your ribs in and wrap your shoulder blades down around your back. And head down towards the floor, breathe. Now bring that in dynamically. Inhale halfway up, long back. Exhale, fold. Twice more, inhale, and exhale, inhale, and exhale. Now come back through that long spine, inhale, stretch all the way up, Lord Vanamaskarasana. Look up to your hands, let your palms touch, and pause here. Okay, soften the base of your neck, draw your floating ribs in. And work to straighten your arms. Okay, don't forget about your foundation, what's happening with your feet. Take one breath in. Max out your hands to your heart. Soften your eyes. And sun salutation A. Inhale, stretch your arms up. And if you got space, exhale, swan dive. Full range of motion, keep your spine long. Into Uttanasana. Full expression of that shape. Inhale, lengthen halfway. Exhale, step back to plank pose. And take a breath here in your plank. Lower your knees down, cross your ankles, and just come about halfway down. So you have the second modified variation. Uncross your legs, upward dog, inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog. Pike your hips up, set your feet. Feel your breath move, deep cycle in. Slow breath out. Again, the end. And exhale. One more. Stay strong through the hands. Breathe in deeply. Okay, push the floor away. Root your heels a little deeper. And press your hips up through your breath out. And then look to the top of your mat. Inhale. 
Travel nice and light. And lift halfway. So all that happens on the in breath. Exhale, fold. Back through long spine. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, hands to heart. Twice more. Sun salutation A. Inhale, reach up. Lift the namaskar. Exhale, dive forward. Keep your spine long. Uttanasana. Inhale, lengthen halfway. Eyes forward. Now you can step or float. Chuck the room. If you're going to float, land nice and light. Keep integrity in your spine. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Okay, so three modifications or variations there on your flow. Again, Santosha, contentment is about honoring your body, meeting yourself where you are. If that means you modify your flows to build strength, awesome. If that means you can float back through a handstand, awesome. It's your practice. Stay with the breath, last deep cycle in. Slow breath out. Got to lift heels and eyes, bend your knees. You can step or lightly float halfway up, breathe in. And exhale, bow. Inhale, stretch up, reverse swan dive to the sky. Exhale, your hands to your heart. One more sun salutation A. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, dive. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale with integrity, chuck the rung bow. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, down dog, breathe deeply. Ujjayi through your nose, check in with your shape from the ground up. So, foundation first, and then extend the shape towards the sky through your hips. deep breath. Slow this exhale way, way down. Uh, lift heels, lift eyes, bend your knees a little step or a light float. Halfway, breathe in. Exhale, fold. Stretch up, inhale, reverse, sore down. And see our exhale. Right, breathe in, reach up. Interlace fingers, release your index, and come up and over to your right side. Stretch here through left side body. Open up the shape there through your rib cage. Don't forget about your feet. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, up and over. Left side, stretch. Open up your ribs. Okay, from the foundation. So root down through the inside arch of your left foot. Take a breath in, lift your chest up. Work to straighten your left arm. As you breathe out, inhale back to the middle. Separate your hands and width of your shoulders. And exhale, sit down nice and low. So your thumb's got to be. Inhale, look to your hands. Touch your palms together. Exhale, fold forward. Halfway, breathe in. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, urdhva mukha. Exhale, adhva mukha. Virajasana one, right side. Footwork, root your left foot first, step the right foot through. Inhale, stretch your arms up. First forward. Exhale, chuck the wrong guy. Hands to the floor, spin the back heel, step back, lower. Inhale, upward. Exhale, downward. Warrior one, left side, right foot roots first. Step through. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, chaturanga, back heel, hands plant, step. Inhale, urdhva mukha. Exhale, add toe, breathe deeply. Ujjayi. Soften your eyes. One more full breath. To the top of your mat, heels up, eyes up, bend your knees, you can step, step. You can float, halfway, breathe in. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair pose. 
Exhale, Sangha Stitihi. Again, so your number's gotta be. Inhale, chair. Exhale, fold, Uttanasana, complete the shape. Halfway, breathe in. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, upward. Exhale, downward. Warrior one, right side. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, Udva Mukha. Exhale, Adva Mukha. Warrior one, left side, step. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, upward. Exhale, downward facing dog, breathe deeply. Soften your eyes. Relax your jaw. Stay strong through the hands, push through the floor, send your hips up. One more deep breath. And then heels up, eyes up, bend your knees. Step or float, halfway, breathe in. Exhale, fold. Chair pose, inhale. Exhale, Salamastati. One more, inhale, chair. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, Chakthoron. Inhale, Urva. Exhale, Adho. Warrior one, right side. Footwork, be contained, inhale, reach up. Exhale, chaturanga, footwork, step. Move with integrity, inhale, upward. Exhale, downward, left side. Root your right foot first, footwork to step the left foot up, inhale. Warrior one. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward. Exhale, downward dog. Breathe nice and deep. Soften your eyes. Focus the breath. Last time, full inhale. Slow breath out. Heels up, eyes up. Bend your knees, step, step. Rear leg float, halfway. Exhale, fold. Chair pose, breathe in. Exhale, Samastiti. Good, stay tall and strong here, take a breath. Chair pose, inhale, sit low. And just a nice, easy twist to your right. Okay, you can modify here, forearm across the lap, hand to your low back, or stay low. Don't work to turn. Last deep breath. And come to the middle, root your feet. Inhale, stretch up, straight legs, reach up. Exhale, chair pose, keep your arms up. One breath in, hands together, and twist, left side. Okay, stay low through the seat. Again, the modifications here, honor your body. One more breath. Inhale, back to the middle, stretch up. Exhale, someone stick to heat. Stay up tall and strong, take a breath. Inhale to chair post. Exhale, fold forward. Halfway in. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing dog. 
Take a breath in, stretch your right leg up. And bend the knee, open your hip with the exhale. Stack up, press your left heel down. Stay active through this right leg, squeeze the heel in. Work to stack your hips and breathe. Dog split, inhale, look forward. Exhale, step your foot up beside your right thumb. Okay, keep your back heel up, back leg straight. Inhale, crescent lunge. Reach up. Couple breaths here, keep your core locked up. One breath in. Exhale, warrior two. Spin open nice and wide. Okay, stretch across your body. Watch this action of leaning forward. Okay, keep the shoulders square. One time reverse warrior, inhale. Stay there for the breath out, stretch the shape open. One breath in. Exhale to Chakaronga. Windmill to the floor, take your vinyasa. Left leg up, inhale. Bend, open. Root the heel, strong hands. Work to hollow out this right arm bit. Straighten your leg, inhale. Look forward, exhale, step. Back heel stays hot. Arms go up. So contain, again, build these shapes from the ground up. And keep your chest up, take a breath in. Exhale, warrior two. Open up your shape. One time, reverse in now. Stay low. Deep breath in. Exhale, chaturanga. In the upper. Exhale down or breathe deeply. Ujjayi, check in again. Ground up. Check in with contentment in your practice, okay? So we introduce this as a challenge, a very controlled manner, to test the way that you can respond, right? To find practice in Sankosha in uncomfortable situations. Take one more full breath. Lift your heels up, your eyes up, bend your knees, step, step, or float. Okay, halfway, in it. Exhale, fold. Bend your knees, inhale, chair pose. Exhale, Samastati. Take a breath. Slow exhale. So we're going to progress that flow. Our eyes sit low, inhale, chair. Exhale, fold. Halfway, breathe in. Exhale, Chakaranga. Inhale, upward. Exhale, downward dog. Right leg up, inhale, stretch it. Bend and open, exhale. Now take a breath in, look at your right hand. Come up onto the fingertips, okay? Take your time. Wild things, spin the outside edge of your foot down. Step the right foot back behind you. Okay, heel can go flat, that's fine. You can lift it, bring it a little more activity to the quadricep. Stretch up and out from your heart, lift the hips. One breath in. Exhale, hand back down. Right leg up, inhale to your dog split. Look forward, exhale, step. Crescent lunge, breathe in. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Exhale, modified extended side angle. Okay, so adding the shape here. Breathe. Roll the heart open. Stretch out. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, windmill, chaturanga. Inhale, upward. Exhale, downward. Left leg, inhale. 
Bend and open, exhale. Okay, look up at your hands, it's all right. Inhale, lift your fingertops, lift to your fingertops. Spin to outside edge of your right foot. Left foot steps behind you, wild thing. One breath in. Exhale, left hand down, dog split. Inhale, stretch up. Look forward, exhale, step. Crescent, inhale. Warrior two. Reverse your warrior. Exhale, modified, extended. Couple breaths. Inhale, warrior two. Try to keep the shape there in your legs as you come back up. Stay low. One breath in. Exhale, vinyasa. To the floor, set it back. Upward, inhale. Exhale, down dog. Breathe deep. Foundationally from the ground up, physically. Breath two, inhale, full. Exhale, slow. Heels up, eyes up. Bend knees, step, step, or float. Halfway, inhale. Exhale, fold. Bend your knees, inhale, chair pose. Now stay rooted through your left foot. Lift the right ankle up. Tree. Stand up tall, hands to your heart. Soften the shoulders. And breathe in your knee forward, arms up. Exhale, kick back. Modified warrior three, your toppling tree. Okay, one breath in. And fingertips down, exhale. Give yourself a little space if you've got a wall, awesome. Just a little kick towards your handstand, okay? You can just practice working towards this little L. You can stay here and stand and split. If you're gonna get upside down, be mindful. Okay. Then come back. Find this left foot on the floor. Inhale, chest up. Lift the heel. Give a little float. And left foot lands back behind you in Triyanga Dandasana. Okay, inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Look forward. Give a little step, step. Halfway, breathe in. Exhale, fold. Chair pose, inhale. Root through right foot, exhale, come up. Tree. to your heart. Stand up tall again, foundation up, through the chest, through the crown to build your shape. Knee forward, inhale, arms up. Exhale, kick back. One breath. Exhale, hands down. Plant your palms. Lift your heel. Get upside down if you like, or just stay right here with the heel flat, standing split. Okay, if you just want to work the kicks, just these little L kicks, catch progressively more hand in time, okay? Everybody foot back down, chest up, in them, heel up, little bend to the knee, kick, float, upward, breathe in. Exhale, down dog, full breath. Big exhale. Chai hot spots, warm down. Take a little rest, okay? If you need a little sip of water, go for it. If you're gonna drink water, okay? Just making an extension of your practice. So everything stays mindful, everything stays contained within the spring. So 
So child's pose if you're resting, you can sit up tall and have a little water. Make even this act of rest, even this act of replenishment, an extension of your practice, right? So everything is sacred. Hold space for even the most subtle details in your practice. A couple more breaths here in child's pose. Just stay right there. together. Big exhale, open your eyes. Wherever you are. Now make your way back into downward facing dog, please. And look at the top of your mat. Give a little travel. Step, float, fly. Halfway, inhale. Exhale, fold. Chair pose, breathe in. Exhale, Samas Titi, stand up tall and strong. Take a breath. And bring that all together. Here we go. Inhale, chair. Exhale, full. Halfway, breathe in. Exhale, Chaturunga. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. We're continuing to progress that same flow. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, step through. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Exhale, modified extended side angle, or you can work the full variation here, okay? So like a stronga style, that right palm can go flat to the floor. If you need to modify, no big deal, okay? Breathe, three. Stay with Ujjayi, two. Stay with Santosha. One, inhale, warrior two. Straighten this front leg, exhale, okay? Heel toe in, back foot once, maybe twice. Draw the right hip back, stretch forward, breathe in. Hand can go to your hip, that's fine. Right hand can go to a block, up under your shoulder. Okay, this is not a crutch, it's a block. Okay, use it as support. Inhale, left arm up and breathe. A little bit wider stance, you can always micro adjust these shapes too. Last full breath. Exhale, hand to your head. Eyes down. Take this block forward up just a bit. Okay, block management. Be mindful of your body. Breathe in. Exhale, pike up. So when you practice at home, you might not have quite as much space as you used to. Right? It's okay to adjust your feet, to adjust your foundation, to do all that kind of stuff, and keep your body safe. Okay. Last deep breath. Exhale, left hand down. There you go for your handstanders. If you want to go to upside down, go for it. Standing split, you can just stay right here. You can work that kick. One more breath. And everybody, if you're in that handstand cool, you're going to lay the right foot back in Triunga. Float up. Bend your elbows. Inhale. Exhale. Left leg up, breathe in. Exhale, step through. Crescent lunge, inhale. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Exhale, extended side angle, your variation. And breathe. Five full deep breaths here. Stay in the shape. Anchor through this back leg. Okay, keep the bend in your front knee. And again, push away here through the forearms. That's not a crutch, right? Use your core, support your body. Last deep breath. Inhale, warrior two. 
Exhale, straighten front leg. Okay, heel toe in. Once, twice. Stretch, inhale. Block management, okay? You don't have to stay in the pose to get your block, right? Be mindful, readjust, realign, and open up. Last three. Two. And one. Eyes down, right hand to hip. Step back. And then float up. Hold for cross the heart. Last breath. Standing split, exhale. Wrap the right hand down. Okay, block management, move it out of the way. Fingertops here if you're going to stay up. Fold, palms can go flat. You can work up and move up at Shasana to your handstand. You can just stay right here, work balance. One more breath. Okay, everybody, hands on the floor. If you're in a handstand, that's cool. Stay up. Heel up. You're going to land left foot back. Little kick. Float light. Upward, breathe in. Downward, exhale, breathe. Pull in deep. One more in there. Lion's breath, exhale. Child's pose. This time, knees underneath you. Sweep your arms back. Okay. Child's pose is a great place to check in with your breath. Okay. You can hear your breath moving, you can feel the road, the ribs moving up and down. You can look back and see your body breathe. So connect. To your breath, right here. And turn your palms to face flat on the floor. And inhale, start to roll up. Let your chin come up last. So it's like a little baby camel pose. And lift your heart, eyes up. Full breath in. Hands to your knees. Around your back, tuck your chin and pull back. So a little baby rabbit pose. And let's flow through that. So sweep back, inhale, baby camel. Exhale, hands to knees, round, baby rabbit. Inhale, sweep back. Exhale. One more breathing. And breathe out. Come back to a neutral spine, inhale. And exhale, just hold right up onto your knees, camel pose. Okay, set the knees under your hips. Feet flat is cool, toes tucked is cool. This is more stable through the foundation, okay? This is gonna require you to use more core when you come up into the shape. Most important thing, keep your spine safe. Okay, hands to your low back, wrap your elbows in, draw the floating ribs in, start to lift your chest up. Eyes up. If you want to go back to the heels, cool, but don't do this action, okay? Keep the heels stacked on top of your knees. Eyes up. Inhale, come up slowly. Settle back to your heels. Sit up tall, close your eyes.
single ujjayi five times. Prolonged refined breath. Soften your eyes. Soften your breath. Once more, inhale deeply. Exhale completely. Blink your eyes open. Stretch out onto your mat. Tuck your toes, lift your hips. Down and face it. And look at the top of your mat. If you want to float up into your crow, you can do so, or float up onto your knees between your thumbs. You're going to float to crow, just a little <laughs> toes can tap, that's okay. All right, bring it here, land nice and light. Take your knees out wide, reclined hero or sleeping hero. Okay, if you got really bad issues in your knees, you can flip over, block, support bridge, okay? If your knees are okay and you want to come back, you can take your knees out wide, feet underneath, or actually if you're Badrasana, with your toes together, heels under, Virasana, knees hip width, heels out, you can take the fleshy part of your calves and roll it out, right? Personally, go in here, if you've got blocks, awesome, if you got a bolster, or a big, big, fluffy, supportive pillow, or even... One of the great big stuffed animals to lay back on. Anything that will support you to lay back. In a nice comfortable position here. If you can make it all the way to the floor, great. Take 10 breaths. And just relax across the heart. Okay, let this be passive. You don't have to press down into the floor or anything. The more you reach your arms out wide like so, the more you'll feel this open across the heart. And obviously, the closer you are to the floor, the more intense it'll be on your knees and then your low back and your hips. Right. A couple more full breaths. Last time, full inhale. Slow exhale. Now, work to keep your shoulders square when you come up, okay? So we don't want to torque the spine. Use your elbows, use your core strength, and keep your shoulders square. Okay, bring your knees in. If you want to work back through a vinyasa, you can work back through a vinyasa. Okay? You can step, step, float back. You can fly back, whatever you need. If you want to go back to downward dog, cool. And then come forward. If you wanted to move back through crane pose, you could work your arm balance and flow, okay? Home practice is about being mindful. Okay? Not pushing yourself too far. Understanding your own limitations, but in both directions, right? So where you limit yourself max-wise, but also where you limit yourself where you can try more. Yoga is a practice of discernment. So I can't tell you where that point is. We'll come to the top of your mat and land on your butt. You have to understand that for yourself, okay? Wouldn't be a fool on chip class if we didn't do this. So float your shins up parallel to the floor, lift your chest up. Mm -hmm. Inhale, go back halfway. Exhale, come up, lift your heart. Inhale, back. Work your core, exhale up. One more, breathe in. Exhale, come up, cross legs, plant your hands, lift up off the floor. Exhale, have a seat. Inhale, back. Ardha Navasana, exhale up. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Exhale, come up, cross, plant, lift. Have a seat. Once more, breathe in. Exhale. In. Exhale. Last time, breathe in. Exhale, cross. 
Plant, lift. Have a seat, one breath. Exhale to the floor, feet down. Okay, if you got blocks, we're supported bridge. Two back bends this morning, okay? Lift your hips. Lock up underneath for that supported variation. Okay, first set. If you want to work bridge here, cool. If you want to come up into your wheel, take your hands by your ears and push through the floor. Now, if you're in the supported shape, you can just relax. All right? If you're up in your back bend, take five deep breaths wherever you are. If you're up in this active shape, keep a little engagement to the glutes, keep your feet strong, and hips up, open across the heart. Last deep breath. If you're on the block, you can stay right there. If you're off the block, come down. Take one breath here on your back. And one more back bend. Again, if you're on the block, stay there. If you're coming up into bridge, come on up, palms flat or interlaced. Okay, and the great thing about being at home, especially if you got blocks, you can use them on the wall to help you get up into your shape. Okay. Put the blocks here. Put your hands here. And then come up, right? So, even if you're limited to range of motion in the shoulders, you can start to just work this action, right? And it'll take some of the stress, some of the angle out of your wrists, and help you start to get up into the shape over time. All right. One more breath there in your back bend, wherever you are. And then exhale, roll down, nice and slow. If you got up on a block, and you lift the block out, roll down, feel every single vertebra touch the floor. Okay, so important to keep your spine safe. Stretch your arms out, get a little wind shield wiper to your knees. Keep your feet out pretty wide. Then okay. knees over to your right side. Right ankle's gonna go up on your left knee. And then use this right foot to scrub the flesh here on your left leg. Even maybe the hand there and stretch your IT band. It's a little self massage for your self practice. Last breath. Keep your legs like they are, thread the needle, right hand through, interlace. And if you got a strap, you can grab a strap here, roll back, flex your foot, right foot, let the left foot relax. Breathe in deep, tuck your chin a bit, and then pull this left knee in and stretch your right hip open. Last deep breath. Then gently release your leg. Both feet back on the floor, pretty wide. Swish, swish, swish your knees side to side here. Then your knees over to the left. Left foot. And go on the top outside edge of that right knee. And again, scrub the flesh, stretch this IT band, use your body to stretch your body. It's really nice. Open across the heart, okay? Try to prioritize along with this stretch of the IT band. Both shoulders flat on the floor so you can open the space across your heart and your shoulders. Back in the middle, inhale, thread through, interlace. And one more breath there. And let that go, come up into Vipariti Kriyami, okay? So, for vip, Viparitik Priyani, it's tongue twister. Send your legs straight up, 
And you can support underneath. I like to make like this little diamond shape with my hands. And support that underneath the sacrum or your butt cheeks, okay? So should be pretty natural curvature in your lumbar spine with your legs straight up. A couple deep breaths. If you want to come on up into shoulder stand, that's cool. But be mindful of your spine, okay? Legs go straight up. Point your feet, press your heels away from you. Chin up, walk your elbows in. And keep your chin up to protect your cervical spine. Active feet. A couple more breaths. If you're in Vipriti Kriyani, just stay right there. Then you can take this up over the top in the plow if you like. You can bring it right down into death man's pose. And everybody gently roll down into happy baby. Okay, so if you're here in Vipriti Kriyani, just bend your knees, thread up inside, grab the outsides of your feet, draw your shoulders down and give yourself a little rock side to side. A little sway. And hang out here as long as you want. And then lie down in Shavasana. So we left some space here for Shavasana, okay, in the context of this class. So I really want you guys to lay down. Shavasana is integral to the practice, okay? And the alignment for it is just like any other pose. So stretch out. Toes out, arms away from your body, tuck your shoulders underneath of you, and let your heart fall wide open. Hold off on the water, okay? You don't need a full belly water right now. Palms up. That's not to say if you're dying of thirst, don't sip some water, but try to hold off on the water, okay? Just let your body settle and be still. Tuck your chin a bit, take a deep breath in. And say, ha, ah, exhale, ah. Stay down in your Shavasana and let go of your Ujjayi breath. Spontaneous and natural breath here. Yeah. And we got just about oh, four or five minutes or so left in the broadcast. And left in the class. Four or five minutes left in the class, so. Stay in Shavasana, and those of you guys who practice with me here at Moto and Miami Beach know I play a lot of music with my classes. Um, and it brings me a great deal of joy. So this is my Santosha, and this is for you. Um, stay in Shavasana, and we'll say bye when this is done. Thank you, Moto and Miami Beach. Thank you, Manduka Yoga. Thank you, AJ. What's up? Cleo, Naomi, everybody out there. Thank you to this amazing, amazing community, right? Even though we're kind of separated by digital aspects, we're still connected, we're still together. And I love you guys, I miss you so much. Come practice soon. In the meantime, practice on, practice on, practice on.
about a thing Cause every little thing Gonna be alright Rise up this morning Smile with the rising sun Three little birds Catch by my doorstep Singing sweet songs The melody is pure and true Singing This is my message to you Singing don't worry About a thing Cause every little thing Gonna be alright Singing don't worry up this morning and smile with the rising sun three little birds probably a crane a crow and an eagle by my doorstep singing sweet songs the melody is pure and true singing this is my message to Thank you so much for sharing your practice. Thank you for being community. Thank you for sharing this time with me and with each other. Namaste.